In today's video, I just want to show you how I set up the built-in fax server on my Grandstream UCM 6302 PBX. Now, I know many of you are probably saying that faxing is a dying art and it's not used anymore, but a lot of businesses still do take advantage of using fax services. So, if you'd like to see how to set it up in the Grandstream PBX, if you own one and you have a fax machine laying around the house and would like to take advantage of it, stick around for this video. Okay, everyone, we're at the Grandstream website. I just want to show you the back of a couple of the UCM 6300 series models. The reason is we're going to utilize one of the FXS ports on the back of the UCM in order to plug in the fax machine. So depending on which model you have will determine how many of these ports you get. For example, here we're looking at the UCM 6301, the back of it. You get one FXS port and one FXO port. However, if we jump up to the 6302, which is the model I have, you can see it has two FXS ports, those are in green, and two FXO ports, those are in blue. If we jump up even further to the UCM 6304, you can see now it has four FXO ports on the right, which are in blue, and four FXS ports on the left, which are in green. And then finally, the big brother is the 6308. You get eight FXS ports in green, and eight FXO ports in blue. So I just wanted to show you that because the FXS ports are the ones we're going to utilize in this video to take advantage of the built-in fax server. Hey everyone, so I'm signed into the Grandstream 6302. Now this is my own personal PBX. Before I show you how I set up the fax service, I just want to mention it's probably a good idea to get the physical connections done and out of the way. So in that back room, I have my own one printer connected to the back, physically connected to the back of my 6302 into the FXS1 port using an RJ11 phone cord. That's all there is to it as far as the physical connections. So now that said, let's go ahead and sh let me show you how I have it configured. So back to the PBX, let's go to the left window menu here and we'll click on extension and trunk. And then from there we'll click on extensions and here you can see a list of all of my extensions and down here, extension 1006, you can see is designated as my fax extension. I created that by simply clicking on the blue add button. And when you get to the select extension type, the key here is from the drop down to click FXS extension. So let me show you, let's go back. Let me show you how I have my FXS extension configured. Let's click on the edit icon. And then right here, you can see under analog station that refers to the ports on the back of the PBX. I have two of them. It selected the first available, which is FXS1. If I had a phone plugged in, an analog phone plugged into FXS1, I could select FXS2 for the fax machine. But we're going to go with FXS1 because that's where the printer is plugged into. And under caller ID, I put in the phone number that I want to be designated to the fax machine so that when I send the fax, it comes in with the appropriate number. My privilege is set to local by default. When you select um, FXS extension, it defaults to internal. I set it to local because I have the way I have my PBX configured, all of my extensions are set to local. So you set that to whatever is best for your situation. And then under the first name, under the user settings, I set it to fax. And that's how, if we go back one screen, that's how in the list I could identify it quickly as my fax extension. Let's go click back on the edit menu because we have to go up under media, which is the important step here. Under media, where it says fax mode, from the drop down menu, you have to select fax gateway. By default, when you first create the extension, it's going to be defaulted to none. So make sure you select fax gateway from the drop down. Go ahead and hit the blue save button. And remember, with Grandstream, after you hit save, you also have to apply the changes. There'll be a blue apply changes button up at the top right hand corner. That said, that's all there is to creating the extension and designating it as a fax extension. How does the PBX know though to send that specific number to the fax machine? Well, that's where the inbound route comes into play. So let me show you what I did there. Let's click on inbound routes in the left menu. Let me come up to my Telnex routes and you can see I have my four routes. I have my main inbound route, which is going to my IVR during regular business hours. I have two custom routes for 
personal use for myself and my wife. And then I have my fourth route, which I created as the fax inbound route. So let's go ahead and click on the edit icon and I'll show you what I did there. So inbound route name, I called it inbound fact. You can call it whatever is recognizable and works for you. The key here is the pattern. The phone number that I put here is the phone number that the PBX knows when this number is called to direct it to the fax extension. You designate that fax extension here. First, you have to make sure fax detection is enabled with the check mark. Then under fax destination, from the drop down menu, click extensions. And then from the available extensions, click the one you designated as your fax extension in the last step. In my case, it's ex extension 1006. And then down here as well, default destination extension and pick the extension from the list of available extensions. Once you've done with that, come up and hit the blue save button. And again, remember to hit the blue apply changes button. So that's all there is to it as far as that's concerned, as far as setting it up in the grand stream PBX. What I do want to mention to you though, is there are a couple of settings on your fax machine that you'll probably have to make changes to. For example, when you're faxing over VoIP, you probably have to lower the speed. So the fax machine defaulted to from four, it defaults to 14,400 baud. I lowered it to 9,600. I also turned off auto correction. That's another recommendation. And then if you have the option of picking the resolution on your fax machine, they just recommend best practices to set it to normal, not to ultra or ultra fine or anything like that. So there you go. Quick and easy. Get fax service running in through the Grandstream PBX with an analog fax machine. So if you like this video and you found any value in it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe like and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.